Hi, my name is Bernadine O'Coral, and I'm here today to talk to you about a topic that's a very near and dear to me, while I was actually one of the writers for the Next Generation Science Standards. I'm here today to talk to you about differentiating instruction in the science classroom. The idea with the Next Generation Science Standards is that these standards are for all students. And so by recognizing that we have different students and different groups in the science classroom, that the standards were not made to fit one student, but that the standard could be achieved and attained through all students, and that teachers would have to develop strategies that would, they would have to carry or implement so that they could recognize all standards for all students. I wanted to make sure that students felt valued, respected in the science classroom. As teachers, what we really want to do is to tap into that place where the students actually grasp a hold of the science content and then they begin to make meaning of the concept. And we want to figure out a way to help them make meaning of it and help them communicate that to their peers. One of the things that uh, makes NGSS different is that we are actually taking the student body, these different populations of students, and we are engaging them into science and engineering practices in disciplinary core ideas and cross-cutting concepts. While we're doing that, we're steeping them into hands-on activities that will hopefully help them make meaning of the scientific practice that they may be undergoing. Now what happens when some of these students are not fully engaged in the science process? How do we help them? One of the opportunities that Next Generation Science Standards has is to help students who may not be fully engaged make meaning of the science around them. One of the challenges but opportunities with NGSS is trying to get the students to think like scientists and engineers and actually engage in the science and engineering practices as well as the cross-cutting concepts. So one of the things that I like to do is to help students re-engage into the three dimensions. And so it's actually easier for them to acquire the scientific knowledge by actually bringing the scientific and engineering practice actually in front of them. And one of the ways to do that is to use models. This is actually a model with a kidney. And what we want um, students to do, we would have a science and engineering practice where they would actually work together um, to build a kidney. They would work together as teams, so they would be using teamwork, they'd be using collaboration, they'd be using their current understanding as well as the new understanding that they would gain by trying to build the model and also refine the model as they begin to kind of see what works and what doesn't work. So in essence, they use each other um, through peer instruction, peer evaluation, um, peer tutoring, in actually building this model and this concept and all those things that are actually being embedded um, happen in the science classroom through NGSS using the scientific practices. We want to identify, nurture, and cultivate the next generation of scientists and engineers. And we're going to do this by targeting and implementing strategies that help these students towards science achievement, regardless of their race, color, or economic background. We're going to help these students achieve.